High crime rates continue to plague Arkansas. And today, Governor Asa Hutchinson said it's time to take steps. Good evening, I'm Craig O'Neill. And I'm Marlisa Goldsmith. The governor says there are things his administration can do, and THV 11's Sarah Herbakowitz tells us what they are. It's been over a month since the governor's last in-person address at the Capitol. Today, he covered everything from getting his second booster shot to how he plans to address high crime in Arkansas. Our nation has been plagued with a rise in violent crime over the last couple of years. And that's seen locally. Violent crime in Little Rock is up nearly 30% over the last five years. Governor Hutchinson now stepping in. I'm announcing an expansion of the intensive supervision program. The expansion would more closely monitor people on parole, adding more officers and covering more counties. The Blasky County Sheriff's Office welcomes the proposed addition. That would most likely help us reduce some crime. Uh, to what extent that would reduce crime, uh, that will, you know, time and statistics will show that. Leaders say their goal isn't to restrict those following parole, but take a closer look at those at a high risk for committing future crimes. That have demonstrated a history of violence, that have demonstrated a history of gang affiliation. They need a little uh, closer level of contact by our officers. But with more eyes looking out for violations, prison space is a concern. When someone violates parole, they take them to the county jail to house them uh, for their uh, parole hearing, and uh, that will increase our population. But the Department of Corrections plans to make room by moving county prisoners to state facilities, facilities that already got the green light for their expansion in the last legislative session. We're making the adjustments that are needed now. We know that that population can grow and uh, we're making accommodations for that. Now, these still need to be approved by the General Assembly, but the governor says he's hopeful and that they should go into effect as soon as that happens. For now, reporting at the Capitol, Sarah Horbakowitz, THV 11 News. Keep this in mind, Governor Hutchinson has not said when the General Assembly would meet to pass a bill like that. The next regular legislative session is not until next spring.